now, the latest around the wide world of tropics. Trop Weather Bulletin for June 30th. Well, here we are on the final day of June, and it's not boring us at all. A significant event really going on in the South Atlantic with Hurricane Rayoni. The first hurricane there by our analysis since Katarina of 2004, and only the second time in re uh, recorded history that we've seen one. There's also Tropical Storm Enrique in the Eastern Pacific, barely surviving at this point. Here we are, day 30 of Atlantic hurricane season. There's Invest 95L and Invest 97L. 97L has a much higher chance of development and could become a significant system for the Leeward Islands and the Caribbean, especially as we head into the first week of July. Day 46 of the Eastern Pacific hurricane season, Tropical Storm Enrique weakening as it heads into the Gulf of California. Not much of a lifespan expected as this does make landfall on Baja California before going out again and pretty much dissipating. In the Western Pacific, there's Invest 95W, but we really aren't seeing much in terms of development for that. Only a 10% chance of development at this time. Nothing else really going on in, on the radar after what we just saw with the Champy. In the North Indian Ocean, it remains the uh, gap between the seasons at this point. Nothing really going on there, and really nothing expected to go on anytime soon there. So that is really good news for those. Uh, that reside near those coastlines of the Indian Ocean. Here is the Atlantic Satellite. Uh, you can see that those two wind vests just swirling along there in the main development region. Uh, that one on the right there that is looking a lot more organized and it could become uh, the fifth storm of the season and if it does uh, we could be looking at the earliest fifth storm on record there. In the Eastern Pacific you can hardly see Enrique at this point. It's really just a ghost with uh, the lack of convection it's been producing. We can see on the latest frames, it is getting that little last spark of light that will pretty much keep it as a cyclone for now, but it's really running out of time in general. In the Western Pacific, uh, 95W really located uh, east of the Philippines, really in that gap between uh, Philippines and Taiwan, but way to the east of those locations, several hundred miles, and we're really not expecting much in terms of development of 95A. Other than that, you got some normal uh, cloud patterns, a lot of uh, cloud activity going around from China uh, into southern Japan there. And the Indian Ocean, you can really see the average for this time of season, the Arabian Sea looking quiet as always, and then of course you have uh, that monsoonal activity that's going on in the Bay of Bengal. And of course, we're switching our flutter into Hurricane Rayoni here. You can see how much it has uh, developed over the last 24 hours, and it's really looking impressive. Uh, something you really do not see. We have not seen a hurricane here in si uh, 17 years, so uh, a very spectacular sight, and it will last with us a day or two more until it basically gets uh, merged with the jet stream. Here are the sea surface temperatures that we're looking at, 28 to 29 degrees Celsius for a majority of the eastern Pacific Basin. Those 30 degrees Celsius waters have really become much less apparent over the last few days. Uh, in the Atlantic, it's 28 to 29 degrees Celsius all the way from the Gulf of Mexico and the Caribbean. And then as you get into the main development region, those are getting more 27 to 28. Definitely going to be uh, interesting to see what 95L and 97L does in those uh, pretty good uh, sea surface temperatures there. They do support development after all. Uh, North Indian Ocean, 27, 28 degrees Celsius for a wide majority of the basin. Uh, pretty good in terms of cyclone development, but of course the conditions are not exactly there to support it. Same with the Western Pacific, a lot of areas that are under the 30 degree isotherm, specifically east of the Philippines towards the Philippine Sea. And then of course in the Southern Hemisphere, uh, it is winter there, so it's really not expected that you see uh, sea surface temperatures that are conducive for development there. So nothing going on or should go on there anytime soon. Here are the sea surface temperature anomalies at the moment. We are looking at, of course, those cold spells going all the way from Hawaii all the way into the California and Baja California coastline. Really a strong lack of the Pacific uh, that is above normal. But other than that, Atlantic is looking above normal. Same with the Western Pacific. On this day, June 30th, 1981, we had three tropical storms active. Tropical Storm Brett in the Atlantic, which would later on go and uh, make an odd uh, direction westward into the mid-Atlantic. Beatriz in the eastern Pacific, that stayed out to sea. 
and Tropical Storm Kelly that would end up later affecting the Philippines as a tropical storm. It would later go on into the South China Sea and become a Category 1 typhoon. Of course, this is powered by Cyclone History, and you can find them on our Twitter uh, at the Twitter handle that is listed at the bottom of your screen. Well, with that said, another day in the tropics, a surprising one at that. The next name for the Atlantic, we will probably be seeing this soon, is Elsa, followed by Fred. In the Eastern Pacific, the next two names there are Felicia, followed by Guillermo. And in the Central Pacific, well, it really should not be a surprise anymore. I don't know how many times I've said it, but guess what? It's still Hone. In the Western Pacific, the next two names there remain Infa, followed by Sapaka. And in the North Indian Ocean, the next two names there are Gulab and Shaheen. Switching it over to the Southern Hemisphere, I am only going to be saying this for one more time. Everyone will hear that makes drop water bullets and will only be saying this one more time. But the next name in the Southwestern Indian Ocean is Kanga. Those names switch tomorrow. In the Australian region, the next names there are Patty followed by Ruby. And in the South Pacific is Cody. 